everyone, this is Pretty Nighting here and you're watching NDH Primetime. Let us look into the headlines first. Commentary suspension of indefinite strike by the North Kajari Autonomous Council Employee Union. Dhiranjan Hojai elected as the new CEM of North Kajari Hills Autonomous Council. The Shaira celebrated in Maibang for the first time in Dimasau. 17 years old innocent boy and a police personnel injured in an unfortunate incident in Santila. Section 144 CRPC imposed to safeguard the migratory birds. SPI is not in proper service in Mahur. Now the news in details. North Kajarius Autonomous Council Employees Union has momentarily suspended their indefinite non cooperation agitation today after 25 days. The indefinite non cooperation agitation was started on 1st of October 2015 in protest against their 8 month spending salary. President Hasnu, President of North Kajarius Autonomous Council Employees Union, said that the reason behind our temporary suspension of indefinite non cooperation agitation is that the newly elected CEM Niranjan Hadai has requested the employees to union to restart our duty from 26th of October 2015 and also assured that our demands will be fulfilled soon after the formation of executive body in the North Kajarius Autonomous Council. So, with all due respect, we have suspended temporarily our indefinite agitation. Moreover, he also added that after the formation of the new executive body in the North Kajarius Autonomous Council, if the new CEM fails to fulfill the demands, then they will call a general meeting again and will decide the further step. So, we have a indefinite non cooperation sol raha tha we to temporarily suspend ho gaya suspension ka karon abhi jo naya cem mr niranjan hojai we to say assurance diya jo we to first job executive executive committee baithega to hum log ka jitna sakta hum log ka pura demand hi fulfill karega aur ek to we to baat bataya karbi anglong autonomous council job dene sakta hum log kyu nahi sakega to diye आगे में 113 परसेंट हम लोग क्लेम किया था और गवर्नमेंट से अभी 119 दिया वो भी 119 देगा बोल के हम लोग का इश्योरेंस दिया वही इश्योरेंस का इज्जत रखते हुए आज से हम लोग का एजिटेशन तो विद्रोह हो गया बस इसमें जो भी हम लोग का डिमांड को डिस्कस नहीं करेगा हम लोग उसका साथ साथ हम लोग जनरल मीटिंग बैठेगा उसका पीछे क्या हम लोग स्टेप लेगा उसका डिस्कस होगा उसमें सेन परसेंट होना तो पॉसिबल नहीं है कितना तो सिस्टो हम लोग भी इम्प्लॉय है हम लोग भी मालूम है प्रॉब्लम तो फिर भी आगे का सरकार में हम इम्प्लॉय का साथ उन लोग जो स्लो किया व्यवहार किया उसके लिए हम लोग ज्यादा इजिटेशन में जाने को बाउंड किया क्योंकि हमेशा इम्प्लॉय का जो डिमांड है वो तो अवॉइड करते रहा लेकिन अभी वाला जब निरोजन साथ साथ बैठने को साथ साथ हम लोग से एड्रेस भी किया हम लोग का साथ खुला खुला दिल से बात किया the Employees Union also appreciated the new CEM, Niranjan Hajai, as the new CEM of North Kachar Hills Autonomous Council right after the council session, met the Employees Union and discussed liberally about the problems. The CEM of North Kachar Hills Autonomous Council was elected on 24th of October 2015 after many political controversies. The Governor of Assam, P.P. Acharya, had sent a letter long back to the Chairman of North Kachar Hills Autonomous Council directing to hold a session of the Council on 17th of October 2015 as the former CEM, Deputy Thousand, has lost confidence of the members of North Kachar Autonomous Council and requesting for the removal of the former CEM and formation of new executive committee as part of the rules and procedures entrenched in the Assam Autonomous District. On 17th of October 2015, a session was held in the Council Session Hall as directed by the Governor of Assam as a former CEM, Deputy Thousand had submitted his resignation letter addressing to the Chairman of North Qatar Women's Council prior to the session, which, according to law, enormous and besides 18 MSCs of BJP, no any Congress MSCs were present in the session. As a consequence, no result was shaped on that day. It was after 12 days the final decision was produced to the denizens of the district. On 24 of October 2015, Niranjan Hojai was selected as the new CEM of North Kajar Autonomous Council, his counterpart with a huge margin of MSC's votes in the council session hall. Out of 30 MSC's votes, Niranjan Hojai backed 24 votes in a favor, whereas his counterpart, Mahindra Kamprai, could collect only 3 votes in his favor. 
whereas two MSCs, namely Deboji Thapsan and Devo Prasad Hojai, were seen absent in the session. Mentionable that after an hour, Niran Hojai, after elected as the new CEM of North Zaruf Autonomous Council, the new CEM, along with other MSCs and party president, went to meet the North Qatar Hills Autonomous Council Employees Union, who were in indefinite strike in protest against their seven months pending salary and assured the disappointed and annoyed employees that the problems will be soon solved. He also requested the employees to restart their normal duty from Monday, that is from 26th of October 2015. Hundreds of people took part in the celebration of the Shara festival in Maibang on 2nd October 2015. The festival was celebrated for the first time in the district. Dressed in colorful saris, ghagra choli, kurtas and churidars, people danced along the road and took part in the events. The festival was organized by the general public of Maibang with the initiative of Shankar Das, officer in charge of Maiwang Police Station, who is also the advisor of the organizing committee with Babu Hojai as the president, Amit Shaw as the secretary, and Amar Paul as the executive member of the organizing committee. People parade along the road of Maiwang, and later in the evening, they ablaze the effigy of Ravana, a medical king of ancient Sri Lanka, near the Mahum River in Maiwang. माइवांग डिमांस हो में रावण का प्रोग्राम पहले बार पहले पहले बार हो रहा है ये बहुत खुशी का बात है डिमांस में जो पहले बार हो रहा है आज 
क्योंकि एंटर डिमांड सॉन्ग में अभी तक रावण बहुत नहीं हो रहा और मायूमी पहली बार हो रहा और ये हम लोगों का यहाँ का ओसी संकर दास के उसके बाद उसकी इनिशिएटिव की वजह से इनिशिएटिव की वजह से वजह से हो रहा है ये चीज और इस समर ख्याल में बहुत अच्छा क्योंकि ये एक सिंबॉलिक एक मैसेज दे रहा है कि एंड विन ओवर ए बैड ए गुड ओवर बैड ए सिंबॉलिक मैसेज मैसेज दे रहा है कि खराब को खराब को अच्छा जो दमन करता है उसके बारे में दिखा रहा है वो और तो हम लोग पब्लिक के हिसाब में कि हम लोग यहाँ में जैसे कि सर से बोला कि यहाँ का एंजॉय हेल्प कर रहे हैं तो हम लोग उसके तरफ से हम एंजॉय के तरफ से हम लोग हमें हेल्प करने आए हुए हैं हमको भी लगता है कि ये वाला चीज़ हर साल भी होना चाहिए ऐसा होना चाहिए ऐसे सिम्बोलिक मैसेज देना चाहिए सबको भी कि सोसाइटी में सोसाइटी में जो होता है वो तो खराब जो है वो अच्छा ही अच्छा ही वो खराब ही को वो दमन कर रखे ये वो सिम्बोलिक मैसेज सबको सबको भी सबका जाना चाहिए और ये एक प्रोग्राम दुर्गा पूजा जो होता है हम लोग उत्सव जो होता है उसको थर्ड डे का वो एंड डे में जो ये होता है वो चीज़ सबको ये मैसेज जाए सबके पास और सारे दिमासी को मेरा ओर से और हम लोग ये माइवान को माइवान की पब्लिक को सुबह नवमी दो सुबह दसवीं का हार्दिक सुबह से Dashera, Vijay Dashami, Dasara or Dashain is a Hindu festival that celebrates the victory of good over evil. Many people of the Hindu faith observe Dashera through special prayer meetings and food offerings to gods at home or in the temples throughout India. They also hold outdoor fairs, melas and large parades in the effigies of Ravana. The effigies are burnt on the bonfires in the evening. The Shira is the culmination of the Navratri festival. Many Hindus also believe that it is lucky to start a new venture, project or journey on the Shira. Time for a short break. We will be right back. Keep watching NDH Prime Time. This is Zubin Garg. Keep watching and the H. My channel, your channel.
Zubin Gurg. Keep watching Andy H. My channel, your channel. Welcome back. In an unfortunate incident, a 17 years old boy was injured in a police firing in Santilla on 20th of October 2015 at around 8 pm. According to the report, a brawl broke out between public and police when police tried to make a reason with a group of gamblers. In the brawl between police and public, a police car was smashed by the public and police personnel Louis Talukdar was also injured. Police with no other option have to open blank fire where an innocent 17 years old boy Solid Hojai from Hojai Gideba village becomes a victim. Police <laughs> तो उसका गोली लगा बोलते हैं जो ऑटो ड्राइवर एक था हमको तो जानते हैं ना वो हमको बोला वो गोली लगा लगा बोला तो वो फकर के लेके अंदर में जाता था तो हम भी क्या गोली लगा बोलके देखा ही तो हेड में जो लाके फकर के लेके जाता ना वो तो हम भी फकर के लेके अंदर में गया तो हुस्तल हो गया तो हम लोग तो एक गुल लगा लेके आया तो लोग भी उतरे हैं तो लोग को थोड़ा आप भी खोल करो तो वो तो बाद में होगा ये जो पास इम्प्लेन मांगो उसके बाद खोसल ले जाऊँगा नाम क्या है इसका उसका तो नाम तो इतना मतलब नहीं शुमेस हो जाए ना कि ऐसे शुना है उम्र कितना होगा उम्र तो बीस बीस नहीं होगा बीस नहीं होगा उसका उम्र तो 97 में उन्हें तो 70 साल ऐसे होगा। हम्म ऐसे होगा। कहाँ वो कहाँ का है? कहाँ हुजाई बस्ती का है। हुजाई बस्ती। हुजाई बस्ती। दिमाग सोका है। दिमाग सोका। तो वो मतलब वहाँ पे पूजा देखने गया था? पूजा देखने आया। वो बाद में वो शाप ही निकलना क्या पीने के लिए आया था बोला दुकान में। ทางนั้นก็ทางนั้นก็เป็นเรื่องคดีอะไรทั้งตัวรัศมีครับโอเคพี่รู้ลูกชอบกันกันทางนั้นก็กับเชื่อเดี๋ยวจะไอ้เก
is located at, on the spur of the Haflong Ridge, the headquarter of the district. However, contrary to the popular belief, birds do not commit suicide here, but these birds get caught in the fog and winds, get disoriented and seek solace of the light sources put out by the villagers. They hit against trees or other objects and get injured in the flight towards the light source. The villagers hit the hovering birds with bamboo poles or catapults to bring them down. Various studies have been conducted to unravel the causes behind this phenomenon. The record maintained by the District Forest Department shows that 44 species had been attracted to the light sources. It has been established that the birds are not attracted to the entire Jatinga Ridge but only to a well-defined strip. 1.5 km long and 200 meters wide. The unusual behavior of the birds seemed to occur due to the peculiar weather conditions at Jatinga. Moreover, a large number of migratory birds known as Amur falcons, Falco amurinis rancis, breeds from southeastern Siberia and north China migrating in large flocks and resting in New Tumbung village under Umrangso police station had been witnessed from recent days. Whereas sources indicated that some people from far and near indulge in killing of such birds for consumption and selling etc. So in order to safeguard those endangered species of migratory birds from killing and disturbing by the local people, the district magistrate Srimati Juri Pukan, DC of Dimasau District Haflong, on 19th of October 2015 has imposed section 144 CRPC to prohibit and ban the public gathering collection and entry of people individually or in groups, carrying of dao, long poles, lattice, catapults, setting halogen lights from trapping birds or any other materials or weapons with an intention to kill or capture the migratory birds in the area which were above birds are coming in the entire Dimasau district. State Bank of India, Mahur branch is not operating properly since last couple of weeks as the bank remained closed most of the days. When the local people inquired about the problem, one of the bank staff said that the bank remained closed most of the time these days due to the ill health of the branch manager. Moreover, the concerned authority has not sent any reliever as a result the ordinary inhabitant has to suffer a lot. According to the report, Mahur SBI branch Manager Mr. Dulal Sarkar is seriously ill and admitted in Silchar Medical College since last week. But as the higher authority has ordered to Mr. Dulal Sarkar to reopen the bank as early as possible. Mr. Dulal Sarkar, with no other options, had to travel all the way from Silchar in ambulance. But the most disappointment happened when Mr. Sarkar found that accountant of Mahur SBI is absent and no any other staff was ready to take over the charge. That's all we have in our news bulletin. For more information, log on to our website www.newsdimasau.today. Thank you for being with us. Keep watching NH.